what do you think are the biggest threats, most important threats to nowadays civilization? Uh, I think the biggest biggest threat to our civilization is very much tied in my judgment to the infinity of human desire that hasn't found its proper resting place. And so kind of the restlessness that characterizes us in search for transcendence is transposed onto uh, created uh, realities and we inevitably end up uh, in competitive uh, relationships, uh, investing the works of our hands and our own lives with the kinds of meaning that they cannot, uh, they cannot d uh, deliver. Um, I think unless we learn that human beings cannot live by bread alone, we really cannot um, understand sufficiently human beings, we really cannot save, so to speak, uh, human, uh, human beings. Um, we are meeting here uh, at a time uh, that uh, in Cleveland, Ohio, is the convention of the Republican Party, um, where people are yelling uh, uh, that the political opponent of the Democratic Party, Hillary Clinton, should be locked up, um, and more of that uh, kind of things. Um, what's your take on the political situation here in America, coming from Croatia and knowing a little bit about uh, civil wars. Uh, well, I'm quite fearful, fearful about uh, the situation. I recently spoke uh, in Munich and uh, together for Europe uh, gathering of a uh, of variety of Christian uh, communities. And I opened my speech uh, on, on the square in, in Munich with uh, comment that the situation in Europe today reminds me a bit uh, of the situation just before the civil war in form of Yugoslavia, where you had this uh, enraged uh, sense of rage that has uh, amassed itself and was highly oppositional, claiming its own identities and wanting to to move uh, move apart, uh, assert itself over against others. Uh, very little interest in, um, in, in kind of deliberation about common common future. What one finds uh, in many places in Europe today, what one finds certainly um, at the uh, Republican uh, convention uh, right now, is a red hot anger that is highly oppositional, that knows how to destroy the opponent, but does not how to and therefore knows also how to build tall walls but does not know how to build bridges. As it turns out, we live in a highly pluralistic uh, societies and without ability to build bridges, uh, we are unable to, to survive. And I'm afraid that in situation in which we find ourselves today, this heightening of rhetoric, uh, of uh, angry rhetoric, of uh, destroying the enemy will in fact undermine our ability to, to live together as a, as a nation, highly, highly polarized. We need to heal the nation rather than build further um, uh, walls that separate us.